Jared pulling Frono's photo. Dot com, and once again, I'm here to do a rapid fire critique McCritikerson of people who submitted their best photos ever to my text line. That's right, I do have a text line, I do interact there, and that's where I requested people to send in their photos for this critique. Now, if you're not on this text line, I have the number right here on this paper. The number is 313-710-9729. Yes, the number actually does come to me and I do interact from time to time. So let's jump in to this critique McCritikerson. We have 306 photos this time around and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give my snap judgments. I'll probably edit a few of them, maybe, and I may say some things along the way. But before I get to that, I do want to jump into the promotion, and that is for a discount. That's right, a discount on Rapid Fire Critique Me Critikersons, the 15-minute versions. If you go to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship, they are going to be on sale until I take them off of sale. So go here, get your critique, click right there, add it to your cart, use the code Rapid Fro, just like it shows on the screen, hit apply, and you're saving 10%. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna run that promotion. I guess it, de it depends on how many people actually take it because I don't wanna do too many because it does take time, but I do have time coming up in November to do it. So that's why I'm giving you 10% off right now. If you've been waiting to get a critique, critique, or miss from me, that's a 15 minute rapid fire critique. Now's the time. Let's get into the photos. First things first, we got this bad boy right here, and I absolutely, I love this. This is getting a five, and at the very end, I'll take the fives, and I'll break them down, and I'm gonna pick a winner. And that winner is gonna get something. What they get, I don't know yet. Maybe a critique or critiquerson just because I said so. I, I love this. I love the way that it feels. Uh, this was taken with a D2X, which means, if I hit info here, someone took this back in 2005, but it is Gorgeous, I love the feel of it. Next, oh, a fisheye for this? Canon 15 2.8 fisheye. I mean, I like the colors, I like the tones. Let's get in here to the develop module and see what we've got here. I think that it's a little too ominous on the sky. You can see right here that it's like they cut the background out and just either dropped in a fake sky, which is why I'm not picking it, because I do not like faking it, even though this is an EOS 5D, which I doubt that it's faked if it's that old, from 2008. Like, remember, these are people's best ever. Um, this is nice, I just think you went too heavy handed with the clouds in the background, so we're gonna skip that. But I do, I do like what they're going with American Gothic right there. Huh, so I think I like some of it. I love the colors and tones, it's very Miami Vice, but I think it's the composition that is slightly off. I, it just, I kind of rather have it be more I don't know, something like this with less of the stuff that's going on down here as a distraction, but I love the colors and I love the tones. Um, what is that? 1D Mark, wow, that's old. How old is this? I know I can't take forever on these photos, Jared, 2013. Um, it's just, over, it's way overexposed. It's a little too hot, but I love that it's like one of those macro shots of someone drinking into the water. This is fine. Um, it's an okay photo, right? I don't think it's gonna set the world on fire, but I'm just gonna tighten it up and give it some more, uh, give it a little bit more of the contrast because this is where it started. I mean, this is very similar to what I do on a rapid fire critique for people. And yes, I am just using, I'm not just using this to promote that code rapid fro to get 10% off at fronosphoto.com slash mentorships. Oh, I hit the wrong button. What did I do? What did I do, Jared? Don't hit the wrong button. But that, that is part of the reason. But I like doing these critiques to see your work and go through as many as possible. But yeah, I would like you to go get one of those if you've been interested in doing it. Uh, street photo, 20,000 ISO, 1 100th to 28, 5D Mark III. It's fine, it's just that the protests, I get it. People wanna be out there and take photos. This just isn't a strong photo because of, just because it's a protest doesn't make it a great photo. Um, it's just lacking that action, unfortunately, that, that you wanna see. Uh, I don't know who that is. Who, who are you? He's eating the microphone. Uh, it's fine. It doesn't set the world, like, look, when I say it doesn't set the world on fire, it's good. I'm not saying that it's a bad photo, I'm just saying for what I'm looking for right now, it's not setting the world on fire. I think it's a little on the bright side, I just tightened it up just a little bit, a little bit of contrast. Um, it's, it's nice, and I think a black and white would also be nice as well, um, but, yeah, I mean, for these, I want to see a little bit wider to show more of the scene. 
Um, this is all right. I like the slower shutter speed that you went with. I'm sure Skittles would, would, would do a number. That's very similar to Skittles. Um, it's all right. Again, doesn't set the world on fire. Same thing here. This is, is how, uh, D610, slower shutter speed. So I'm just gonna bring it down because I think it's a little over. Remember, this is at night. So you don't need it to be, it needs to be a little darker on the darker side. That's too bright because we can see that it's at night and just don't go too far. Ooh. I like the feel of this one. I like the feel of it, but it's not executed perfectly. Um, it's not in focus, that's the problem. I really would love it if it was in focus, but it's not in focus. It just, it's just not in focus. But I love the Bernie Sanders shirt, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it needs to be in focus. Uh, it's a great, it was a great thing, but not in focus. I'm just gonna keep moving through. If I see something that grabs me, like this doesn't grab me, don't get offended that I said that, this grabs me a little more right off the bat because we've got the light right on this sheep right here. Bah, bah, don't take my wool. Isn't it amazing they just grow this wool and then you can like, I just think it's too warm. I'm just bringing it down just a little bit. Uh, I really like the feel of this because it just draws you into the one eyeball that you have in the frame that's lit. So I like the feel of that. Uh, I mean, it's a goal being scored. You got the goalie dejected, the puck in the net, the guy here. It's it's a it's a good action shot at the end of the game, or not, you know, when a goal is scored. But it's not like set the world on fire, which seems to be the theme today. But it's fine. Good angle. Um, probably shooting through a photo hole. Good moment captured. Good for the time but not the best of the best with honor, sir, in the history of forever and ever and ever. A7, A7 RM Mark II. Okay, so they must have changed the name back in the day. So this just needs to be pumped a little bit. Skittles is too bright, but, but look, watch. I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit, bring this back a little bit, do this, do that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but I like it. Remember, I'm editing someone's JPEG. This isn't a RAW file. If it was a RAW file, it would look a heck of a lot better. But you see how it's over? See, it's too bright. Once it's edited, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I like the feel of it. I like the, the, the angle. I like the colors. I like that it goes deep into the background. I don't like the editing. I just made it better. So I'm, I'm still going to pick it. But, um, ow. He's taking it right in the... I've, I've done that before. I've gotten hit right there. The crop kills me. Um, stick with the aspect ratio. I stand corrected. Bleep me for that, Dan. It is the proper aspect ratio. It just looked weird. Um, D500 hitting them right there. Cool. That's fine. 18 to 300. Interesting sports lines. You can see a lot in, in the background is going to be in focus. But yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't set the world on fire. Uh, this doesn't set the world on fire. It's too long of an exposure. Rule of thumb, under 25 seconds for this. Uh, you can bump the ISO up to give you more sensitivity, even with the D7200, you want this shutter speed below 25 seconds, even a little less than that, because you can see the, wor the world is turning and turning and turning, which uh, leads to the blurriness that you're seeing. Oh, wow, interesting. Where's the, 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 the line? So I see it. Oh, it's an iPhone shot, interesting. I mean, it's, it's very unique and I like it. Uh, it's very unique and interesting. I'm, ju I'm just curious where that line is. Maybe the iPhone just can't pick it up. But it's, it's definitely an interesting looking shot. This is not um, sharp. I don't know where the focus is, but you wanna try and focus on anything at this point. Um, and then I would just make it silhouette a little more. Rebel T5, all right. Smoking. That's a no-go. Smoking's, smoking's a deal breaker. Just saying, just gonna say it. Make sure you leave a little bit of room for your foot. We've got the Advil. I don't know what she's doing out here, but I like the creativity. I like the creativity of it, nice. Oh, I like the creativity of this. It's just, we're not in focus. Focus is extreme. Look, I was doing a, um, a print competition I'm not a big fan of competitions, right? I think print competitions are kind of bullshit and I think contests for photo contests are bullshit. They're all subjective. So they're not exactly bullshit, but they're subjective 
who wins. Like you get someone like me on the panel who doesn't like something if it's out of focus, but you get some artsy fartsy person who's like, oh I, yeah, artsy fartsy, hashtag artsy fartsy. It's an actual thing. You get one of those artsy fartsy hashtag, put it down below people. They may be like, oh, I like the softness of it. And that to me is complete malarkey and BS, but hey, um, it's subjective. But I, I'm, if I see it and it's, and it's not sharp, in, in, unless the movement adds to the value of the image, then I'm gonna end up going past it. I like the creativity, I like what you were going for. I know it's not easy to nail that focus, but we nail that focus and it's gonna be even better. So is this uh, horseshoe bend? Wow, iPhone stuff. I mean, it's just amazing what you can do with the iPhone. The problem is, as you zoom in on it, you end up losing a lot of, uh, a lot of quality. So this is why I highly recommend, see, I mean, this is just what happens when you zoom in 100%. I highly recommend you take a real camera out there with you and, and, and get it better. This is gonna look great on the computer and on the phone, but it's not gonna look great any other way. Howard Yermish, Howard Yermish has been following since literally day one. He's been, he's been on, on my channel since day one. This is very interesting. Again, everything is subjective. 61 seconds at F16 with his 5D mark. I thought, I thought you shot Nikon there, Howard. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I love how straight the lines are. I love the reflection that, that uh, this isn't a reflection, but you've got the black here that matches the, the clouds. It's not grabbing me super hard, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I'd love to be like, you know, Howard's been around since day one. I want to give him all the props in the world. I want to give him props. Oh God, I'm only on 22 of 300. I'm gonna have to keep moving. Um, but yeah, Howard, it's good. I'm just, I, I like it. It's just not grabbing me. Again, subjective. This is fine, but it's, it's just a picture. And you gotta do better with this processing. Look, even just that quick processing takes it from a snappy shot to something that looks better and more professional. So don't forget about that. This is nice. Get rid of this big ass watermark. Uh, I, I like the feel. I like the tones, we got two birds here, we got two birds here. I hope they're actually there and not added later. I've been seeing this trend, people adding birds after the fact. Uh, I think I would like a lower angle, more along the water line would, would, would make it pop more. Google Pixel, very interesting. We got a hooter, uh, just the eyes are closed and everything. Wow, so this is a, a tattoo artist. We've got a very select, we got a, a creative crop, which I'm fine if that's your jam, but we gotta get some more light up in here, right? We gotta get some more light. And so it looks like they've been looking at Peter McKinnon's stuff because this is like a Peter McKinnon style edit. But yeah, you see where it started? It's That's too dark. Brighten it up just a little bit. Uh, so I love this as a photojournalistic shot. I'm gonna keep moving. That's just uh, 6,400 on that D3200. So don't try to go too bright. I know I don't want to do this for everybody, but this is really what the light would have looked like. So you could have dropped your ISO to like 32 down to 1600, about 1600. What I do, two stops? Yeah, you could do 1600 and get away with this and it would just be better. Donald Duck, nice depth of field. Just add more contrast and it'd be better. Hey, we are focused not on the eyeballs. I mean, their eyeballs are not there, but we're at 1.4. This is one of these issues with, with DSLRs. I love the feel of it. I love women, naked women and men. Well, I mean, I'll compliment a nice man on a nakedness, just to be fair, but I want to focus not on the eyebrow, like at least where the eye is gonna be, right? And because everything else, I, I love that we lose the, the, you know, it's softer here, but I, I wanna see more. That's very nice. Getting in there, getting those tulip shots with the Fuji. Good job, nice job. I mean, this is a classic shot that everybody's taken, right? Um, Horseshoe Bend, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, I know, it, it, I'm giving it a five just because it's gorgeous. And, and it, it's landscape, so it's really not like the photographer did very much. Really, it's not like they did very much. They set it at 1 15th of a second at F8 at 100 ISO. And Scott, I'm not, I'm not ripping on you and being like, Scott, you don't know how to, Scott, Scott! It's not like you don't know how to take a picture. It's just that this isn't, you didn't make this man-made. This isn't man-made. So you just go there and take a picture, that's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's great that you did so you can show that I was there. I captured this. That's awesome. It just doesn't set the world on fire. You're not getting a five this time. I'm sorry, but it is, it's a really good shot. Technically, you did a great job. Colors and tones look amazing, um, but because it's just, oh, Jesus. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, Ryan. Oh, that's nice. I love it. This I love. 
with better processing. Probably black and white would look good, but I do like the feel of the color. Love it. Ooh, I love it. It's just, it's just like, it's just good. It's just good, it just grabs you. That's all right. It's all right, I just, contrast is gonna make it look better. It has a weird composition, pixel. I mean, it's a nice shot with the pixel. I love the tones. I like what you did with the colors, like a nice preset was thrown on there. But other than that, it's, you know, it's great for, for, an, for a phone, a pixel phone. That's all right. I like the feel of this. This is nice, I, lo I love this. Really nice job with the lighting. Great angle here. Very nice finding that angle. Not perfect, but nice job with the, the horn and the, and the, light, uh, the, the American flag. L See, I love the processing of this. I just love the feel of it. Does it set the world on fire, everybody? The answer, no. But I love the feel of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna give it one. Ooh, hey now. I see why you think this is your best photo ever, because that's cool. Shit, sorry, bleep, bleep, bleep the f don't bleep the shit. Um, that's gorgeous. I wonder what Skittles would do on this one. Probably, ooh, Skittles takes it to like a night. I, I, I'm gonna edit it myself. I'm gonna put some dehaze in there, boom. I mean, look at that. You know the moon's out, so I think it should be a little darker. Gorgeous, ooh, you're getting one right there. Oh, wow. Hey now. I think that they spent too much time brightening up the dog. Doge. I also don't think you need to be at F8 for this. I'm sure part of the reason is you want to make sure everything's in focus, but I think it would have been better if the dog was just the only thing in focus. Um, but it's good. It's good. I just want to see just the dog but I like it, it's a good moment captured. So you're getting one, that's one, two, three in a row. We have four in a row, no. This is nice, nice tones, just doesn't grab me. This is nice, uh, you got it at F9, holy Jesus, that D3, that's a D3 moment for sure. Lots of dust on that D, I got a lot of dust on my D3 as well. Um, I think it's all right, I think I'd like it without these signs and all that stuff. Uh, the mountains and everything looks great, but I think we need to bring it down just a little bit. All right, I need to keep moving. Ooh, do you see how when you get to an image that grabs you, it just grabs you? I mean, this image just grabs you. It's the processing, it's the level that the photographer got on, it's the difference between seeing something, like, you know when an image stops you in your tracks and you're like, yes. This is one of those images that I stopped, and it's not just because it's a cat and I like cats, it's just because it's executed really well. Really well, nice job. What lens was that? 24 to 72.8. All right, that's fine. It's like a monument shot from the monument. Vietnam War Memorial, possibly. It's all right. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. I think this person did a rapid fire critique with me. Speaking of rapid fire critiques, use code RAPIDFRO for 10% off over at fronosphoto.com slash mentorship. Um, I still think this needed to be processed a little more. See the difference? See, see how it's just, it's just too overexposed? There you bring it down and look, everything just pops. Love this one, great shot. Oh, Jesus. It's a baby being born, holy Jesus. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful moment. I mean, that's literally a baby being born. It's, it's very good, it's not the best of the best with honor, sir. I don't know what makes a baby being born the best of the best one sir. That's fine, it's just a DJI up in the sky. That's very good as well, nice angle, way to find it. Um, I think I wanna bring down that, I wanna bring the whole thing down, pump the contrast a little bit. We can actually do this with the saturation vibrance. See, it takes it from flat and makes it go blau. So yeah, I think you could make it go blau. I'm giving that a five for now. Great tones, great execution here. Uh, very nice with that Fuji. So I'm giving that a five, I like the feel of it. It's a crow, it's all right, it's just a crow. Is he missing a foot? No, he's standing up. Just laying there. I mean, it's a typical, it's a typical wedding shot. This is fine, you know, probably New York City or somewhere, or London, I could be wrong. It's good composition, that works for what it is. Doesn't set the world on fire, which seems to be the, the retort right now, but, but very good. 
wider. It's too tight. I have no sense of what's going on in this scene. I don't know what's happening. So that's why I lose it because I don't know what's happening. Too bright. I hate light and airy. We have a preset for light and airy called Mount Airy. I know people like it. I, I absolutely, I'm not saying I hate our preset. I'm saying I hate light and airy, which probably means I actually hate the preset, but a lot of people like it. So that's why we made it. It's subjective, right? It's not just about what I say. It's, 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 you know, personal preference. Steven likes light and airy. That's why he made a light and airy preset. Uh, no, the eyes are, it's just, it's just, we have no context. Where's the ice cream that they just ate? I want to see the ice cream they just ate. That's fine. Let's center up that road a little bit. I think if we went vertical and got rid of all this stuff on the side, including the sun, it would kind of look cool with the lines down that way. Uh, drifting, I mean, it's super easy to shoot. We've done it. Um, you executed it really well. It doesn't set the world on fire. I'm looking for stuff that sets the world on fire. Uh, too much this, I think we need to darken them up and make the focus the outside a little bit with the subject going silhouette. We don't need to see the shirt. We don't need to see what else there is. I just think that works a little bit better. Still doesn't set the world on fire. That's very good. It's fine for out on the beach. That's fine. That's fine. Bring it down. Ooh, I, I love the feel. I love the feels of these. Nice creative crop over here. It's a nice creative crop. When you got something you want, like with a creative crop, you did it, you nailed it, so that's good. So nice job there. Still not setting the world on fire. I like the composition here. I don't know if we're in focus. But I like the way that the light is hitting it. That's really cool. What are we at? We're at five, six. So at five, six, if I can't tell if it's in focus, it's probably out. It's slightly there. I mean, it's nice. Actually, I mean, I like it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna tap. Is that a shat? It's not a shadow, right? That's another bird over there, or is it a shadow? It can't be because there's texture to the feathers, so the feathers wouldn't have texture. So raise the shadows or too too much raising of shadows underneath the tree. I love the composition. It's nice, and this one actually comes in a little on the dark side. So that's a little better when you when you do that. It's all right. I mean, it's just an old car driving by. Ooh, what's a white beetle bug? I don't know. It's fine. Not super interesting. I probably would have gone a little tighter. Huh. Huh. Look, bring it back. What's Skittles gonna do to it? Too much. You just bring it back. And D. Hayes will cut through. Ooh. D. Hayes cuts through. We don't want to go too far. Don't marry, the, that stuff wouldn't be there if I had the raw file. Mm. Snapshot with the iPhone. Uh, panning, good job with the pan, still looks good. Yeah, nice. That was kind of what I was going for with the other one. It's just nice low angle. Um, there's no, again, no rhyme or reason why I pick one versus the other. This is nice, doesn't set the world on fire. And I'm looking for those images that stop me in my tracks, right? That's what I'm looking for. So I like the context that we have here. Um, we get a, a feeling that there's a half an arm, right? So we've got that in the mirror. Looks good. There's not much else to go by. It's just like a, 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 a picture in the mirror. Um, if there was like a prosthetic in the foreground maybe, and it's just like showing off, here's my arm, then I have a prosthetic, like maybe the prosthetic's being made. I know I'm, I'm, I'm projecting here just different ideas. That's kind of something that I would look into and consider. All right, we're making some headway at 78. I like the angle. I just want stuff to stop me in my tracks. I'm gonna keep going through. I know, some people that got theirs in earlier are getting a little bit more play. I just want it to stop me in my track. So if I skip yours, don't get upset. This is good peak action, beautiful. Oops, what happened? Don't get upset if I skip. I just think the processing needs to be better on this. See what happens when you just bring it down a little bit, right? It's too flat. Let me bring it back, it's better. Hi, it's a doge, a doge. Come on, stop me in my tracks, people. That's, that's pretty. Long exposure, one second, you don't even see people up here. That's a win because you don't see people. Look, landscapes, like I said earlier, it's, they can look good. You know, technically you get it right, but again, it's not something that sets the world on fire because it's not the first to do it. 
I'm not saying that you need to be the first to do it. Don't get upset with me. Z6 II, this is gorgeous. Really nice, beautiful. Wow, that, see that stops you in your tracks. That's gorgeous. I like the S-curve down here, good composition. Too bright in the sky. You brought it back too much. See that? See how much better it looks when it's just slightly darker? We don't have to get too nuts with the shadows here, but this just needed to be darker. It's too bright. You bring it down, it's much better. I mean, I, I like the composition here. We're looking for stuff that stops us in our tracks. Stuff that sets the world on fire. See, this is just a great angle. Sony a7R2. Are we ever gonna get in focus here? It's just subtly out. Tamron 28 to 75. It's a nice angle and I like the photo. I'm being nitpicky, but you can see that that eye isn't in focus. Looks like we've got 200 more to go through and I don't want this to take forever. So I am going to stop, ooh, when something catches my eye. Like this, is this in Philly? This looks like it's the, um, the portrait uh, thing uh, uh, on Fifth, on fifth Street. That's, I love this. I, I just see when something stops you, it stops you. There's like a dog, there's a girl, she's reading, the lines are perfect. It just stops you in your tracks. Absolutely love that shot, done with a Canon EOS RP. Look, I know I, I, wanna, I wanna like give everybody the time of day, like give them more time. 300 pictures is a lot. This is why I'm offering the Rapid Fire Critiquey McCritikersons at a discount. Dan's popping up the information on the screen throughout the video, so you can use the code RAPIDFRO to get 10% off. And then if I sell too many, I'm gonna turn it off. So just get in there and get yours. Um, Rule of thumb, if you're gonna shoot helicopters, you wanna get a slower shutter speed so you can watch the blades moving. It's a good angle. It's a, it's a good spot to shoot from. Doesn't set the world on fire, but great angle to shoot from with your 150 to 600 if you're going for Pinky here, the photographer, uh, sorry, the pitcher. Great. I mean, I really like the execution is awesome. So really nice job there. Contrast. Oh, look at your cubby bears. Ooh. It's nice. Fine. Squirrel! Too hot, guys. Too hot. You gotta, you gotta bring it down. This is the thing, mistake I keep seeing people make, is they make it too bright when you know this is a shadow area. That's what it should look like. A wabbit. In a wabbit. Oh, there were boobs coming up next, but I'm here on a wabbit. Uh, in s Toronto, right? I'm just checking to see the detail, guys. Oh, oh wait, it goes all the way down here too. I think we're okay with this shot. Does it set the world on fire? Not really, um, it's fine. And look, just because you put a, a, a naked girl in a photo doesn't mean that it's automatically amazing. And, and can we get that through people's minds? Is just because someone is naked, it doesn't make it a great photo. It makes it a picture of a hot naked girl. That's cool. But it doesn't make it like, I rail on GWCs, guys with cameras, people that think that they should rent hotel rooms and do photos of women being naked in hotel rooms. That sucks. That's not impressive. That's you wanting to see a girl naked, okay? So don't do that. Don't be that guy. If you want to see a girl naked, get a girlfriend. Or if your wife or significant other or you could find models and actually be a good photographer and not just shoot photos because you want to shoot women naked just because you want to see them naked. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. Like, be creative with it. I like the angle there. Do <sighs> you really want my thoughts on this? I mean, it's good, it's a good moment captured. But does the kid know what this means or were they told to do that by their parents? Look, the kid doesn't know what it means. I'm not saying that they're right. I'm not saying that they're wrong. No more apartheid, I guess, is what they're doing. Actually, that's a Palestinian shirt. So it's probably a, a rally for Palestine. All for two states. I mean, we're not gonna go political here. Um, but just because you're at a protest, like I've seen it from a lot of the protests where a photographer's like, oh yeah, put your fist up in front of this burning car. 
Cool. Good job. It's a picture of a fist up in front of a burning car. It's trying too hard to be classic and to make a moment. Like, it's just trying too hard sometimes. It's a good photo, though. All right. Ooh. See? See, that's creative. Just going to tighten it up a little. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 30 seconds. This has to be stacked. There's no way that the stars would be that sharp. This may be a stacked image. It's hard to say. So I love purple. Just bring it down a little bit. Just bring it down a little bit. Jared, you're not supposed to be correcting everybody's things. Oh, well, she, she got screwed. I've been here. I think I've been here. I think Sony took us here on a trip. I forget where it is. It's like where they have dude ranches and all. I just think this needs to be pumped. Look at that. See, bring down the exposure. This is in the, sh you know, this is shadow, that's highlight. Make it pop. Look at that. Look at the difference there, right? So much better. Oh, geez. See, that's great timing with the blue angels. Um, yeah, one twenty-five hundredth of a second is perfectly fine to do this. It's good timing. It's not the easiest thing to do. You just you kind of spray and pray, and you hope that you get it. So touching the tip, you know, they're just touching tips. It's good. I love these heads on these two canny things. Meh. Ooh, see, I like, I like, see, I like this. It just like it grabs you. Much better. Temple University. I have no hand. Where did my hand go? That's what I get out of that photo. Ooh, see, too bright, too bright. Bring it down, contrast it up a little bit. I know that's my personal feeling, but do you see the difference though? A lot of critiques, to be honest with you, when I do the rapid fire critiques that are on sale right now, a lot of critiques are correcting people's over brightness, right? And, and, and showing them how I could suggest that you could edit it differently. I'm not telling you how to edit it differently. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm suggesting that this is an option. You don't have to take it, but that's, that's the point. So that, that's much better. That's nice. I like the light. I like the tones. It's an interesting angle bird that's cool remember just if I if I skip yours don't don't take it the wrong way it's not like it's not like I'm, I'm making fun of you I'm not making fun of you I just need to get through this and not have it be a 12-hour video see that see how it's flat we bump it up it just looks like sundown I bet you this is taken at 547 and 22 seconds when was it taken 646 and 22 seconds in the a.m. okay I was going with the p.m. so I guess I was off Eric Kaplan See, do. See, I like the feel of this stuff. But to make this even better, you got to go with a super long, you got to go with the longer shutter speed so that these lights and you get the people walking. And, and just freezing it doesn't do it. Now, it does it. You got the shot. But next, set up that tripod, get this angle, go with a much slower shutter speed, and get those people walking here to blur. It's just going to look so much better. It's nice. Looks like I know her. That's all right. We're looking for set the world on fire pictures, people. Like, this is just too tight. We don't even see the bike. Get your lines straight. Nice. That hand is, I mean, I guess it, it's fine because it shows the rock. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, it's people laughing outside. So for these recreations, color's cool, but I mean, more authentic would be the black and white.
more authentic would be the black and white. I think that just sells all day. That's so much better. I'm picking it because I like it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. I just It doesn't set the world on fire, but it was cool and I liked it. Was that Dew Rosé? Oh, Dew Rise. Whatever it said. Foot, don't chop off feet. Wait a second. We did something very similar to this at a Sony event in Vegas. Oh, wow, look at that. You got another thing coming. Ah, oh, that's cool. I love it. See, you've got, see what this has going for it. That's a, that's an A1. So what this has going for it is you've got the apple. You've got a brother probably. You've got the apple trees. The only thing is maybe a little lower on the composition, but if the kid's running, there's only so much you can do. So I'm picking this because I absolutely love the context and I love the feel. And that's what we're talking about. You see how it tells a story? It's not too, too tight. Um, you've got the apple, you've got the trees, you got something going on and that's what, ooh, oof. See, that's the light, man. That's what we're talking about. That just stops you in your tracks. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to photography. The images that make you go, yes. And I don't actually hate this one. I'm not a landscapey fan, but I like this. Great lines, great straight lines. R6, colors look fantastic. Very nice job. It's not setting the world on fire, but it's a great wedding photo. Really, all right, fine. You're getting one because I like that you set the world. It didn't set the world on fire, but it, it's there. Hello? It's a payphone. Hmm, all right. Wow. Shooting this tight? That's super cropped. I, it's just too tight for me. Like you want to see the end zone, you want to see what's going on. I know you have the 7200 on at 130, so you could go a little wider. And I know that stuff happens super fast. Let me just make sure I wasn't cropped in myself. No, I wasn't. We're getting there. This one actually needs to be brighter up in here. You just need some kick up in there to make it slightly better. That's at the Ren Faire. That's the PA Ren Faire, isn't it? Unless every Ren Faire looks exactly the same, which is possible. Just don't cut it. Just don't cut their feet off. You've got room. Don't cut their feet off. <sighs> it's a good moment. It's good low angle. Great capture. Really nice job there. Uh, slightly out. Uh, it's because it's the Sam Young lens. All right, so <laughs> I know I've seen a bunch of critiques and people are using these third party lenses and, and they're just not sharp autofocus. If it's, if it's an autofocus, is it one of the auto? It is, it's one of the AF ones. Their autofocus just doesn't cut it. And I know you can save money and get these lenses. I've seen it time and time again. They're just not there. So I wouldn't get the, the I would get the Tamron, I would get the Sigma, and I would get the Sony. If we're, this, in this case, it's Sony. Uh, if you're shooting Canon, get your Canon glass. If you're getting Nikon, get your Nikon glass. Unless you're using DSLRs, there's a ton of awesome Sigma art glass that you can get for pretty inexpensive if you're using DSLRs. But that's a good moment captured. Car looks good. I mean, I like this. A, I like the light. I like, uh, it's too low res for me. Excuse me as I yawn. You just gotta bring down the light, but this is very nicely executed. Huh. Well, that's a good, that's a good one. Nice job, Kevin. Who's gonna set the world on fire next? What the? Way. Super crop. Very good. Very nice done. I'm giving you one. 
Nah, too tight. You know, not enough context on this. I like I like that. Not for setting the world on fire, but I like the light, the shoot, the angles that you were getting. Check my time. That's nice. That's a nice moment there. Haircut getting done. <gasps> Kitty in a tree. Doesn't set the world on fire. We need worlds being set on fire, and not by showing the Capitol building. It's gorgeous. Uh, focusing on the ear is tough. I, I, I would probably still focus around this area of the eye. If you're gonna go this and cut off here, you might as well have gone full body. So go full body. <gasps> Squirrel! Great tones here, great, great color. Very nice job. just to, we know it's darker out there. I think you just need to spice it up just a little. See that, to that, just looks a little better. See, that's gorgeous. I don't, I don't know if it's stacked or not, but it's a selfie, beautiful, really nice. I mean, that's, that's incredible. Anybody can shoot the Milky Way. Like, I shot the Milky Way out of the Grand Canyon and thought I was the greatest thing since sliced bread. But when you see it done creatively like this, it's even better. I mean, it's a million times better. That's nice. This, this is, that's a nice shot too. Wait a second. They must have accidentally uploaded it twice. You're lucky. Oh, that's cool. I, I like the feel of this. Oh, my peacock. I like that. Love the colors. Nice job. So this, oh, I'm going back to develop already. Just too hot, come on. You got, you're off by two stops here. Like a stop and a half, that's what it should look like. I know it's not perfect, but that's too bright. If you see your image like this, it's either your screen is off, it's too bright when, or too dark when you're editing. So you gotta, that's what it should look like. I mean, the colors on this are great. Sharpness is very good. Ooh, eggs over easy. I don't know that I like the tree right in the middle on that one. The lobster looks good, or crabs, whatever that is. So this, to me, is the comp bring the composition down. More along those lines is what I would say for that one. Any more gonna set the world on fire? I mean, I like this from up there. It doesn't set the world on fire, it's just a nice picture, it's clean. It's nice with the snow. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. I mean, this is a good shot too. With the light, it's really nice. I think we can get, I don't think we see anything that we shouldn't be, I mean, I have no problem seeing any of that stuff, but who knows how the sensors work. Way too much with that preset. So at first I thought this was just a high jump, but no, it's like a pole vault, but Give yourself some more room to show the pole vault. Pole vault. Pole vault. And that's the last picture, guys. Let's see how many I actually liked. I'm not saying I didn't like, let me take that back. It's not how many I liked. I liked a lot of them, but I wanna see the best of the best with honors, sir. And these are the ones that I like with best of the best honor, sir. So before I pick my favorite, we're gonna narrow it down to my favorite favorite. Um, I do wanna remind you, I might as well do it right here, that you can use code, so we'll go backwards here, backwards here. If you go to frontosphoto.com slash mentorship, you have your option between a rapid fire critique and a live one-on-one -on -one mentorship. 15 minute rapid fire critiques are right here. You wanna add one right now, as long as the sale's still going on, you use the coupon code Rapid Fro, one word, Rapid Fro, and you're gonna get 10% off, all right? I'm not sure how long I'm gonna run this. It's if I get too many of them, I'll have to stop. But now let's go through and pick the best of the best with honor, sir. The one that grabs me the most. Man, I really like that one. See, I'm, I mean, I'm drawn to photojournalism. I mean, that's gorgeous too. That's good, but 
This is great. It's still, though it's the cats, it's not gonna be the best. That's, that's pretty, that's, I mean, that's just, with this editing, is a hell of a lot better than where it was. Yeah. It's nice. Aurora, the Aurora, oh geez, I love that photo. I love the Aurora. I, I love this photo. I love that photo. I mean, I like that too. I like most of these. I mean, that's why I picked them. They're, they're, they're just, it's strong, but it's not the best of the best here. That's gorgeous though. That's just, just a great, just a great capture. And that's very good too. It's good. I mean, all of these are good. That's why I picked them. But now I got to pick like the best narrowing down to give someone a rapid fire critique. I mean, I like that. I, I love this photo. You see how, how competitions are subjective? Like I'm drawn to photojournalistic stuff. I mean, I just, I love this photo. I just, it's just, it, it's just something. I love that photo too. I, I can't pick. Maybe I'll put it up to you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the comments down below, if you got this far, put in there whether you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just comment that and, you're, and you don't have to say reason why, but which one of these do you think should win? I'll go by, I'll back, I'll try to count some up um, and try to pick a winner, but that's a critique. That's what I do when I'm looking at your images if I'm doing a 15 minute rapid fire critique. I'm gonna tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like, I'm gonna tweak some of the files just to give you some feedback and suggestions. It's not about telling you your images aren't good, it's about saying, Look, here's some suggestions so that when you're in the field again and you're in a situation, you can go, oh, all right, I remember when Jared said this, why don't I try this because I already shot that? And that's what it's all about. So if you'd like to sign up for a 15 minute rapid fire critique, go over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship. Use the code that's up on the screen right now to get your 10% off and I will give you a critique or critiquerson and give it to you straight. So thank you very much for watching. Jared, pull in fronosphoto.com. See ya.